Hey guys, we are continuing our uh, homegrown series and after our uh, three day trip to Nasik, we guys are now in Pune at uh, Moonshine Meadery. Um, a meadery produces mead. A mead is basically fermented honey drink which has been mentioned in the Vedas, Ramayana, Mahabharata and even after that. It lost its way somewhere in the middle but uh, now thanks to two very brave souls, uh, Rohan Rehani and Nitin Vishwas, the meadery, meads are coming back. And we were just super excited. Uh, we met with Ro uh, Nitin for the first time during the Indian Sommelier Championship and we fell in love with the idea of the drink. Um, These are the best. These are the yeah. Well, These the balls are the, are the best. Your boss is bald, right? Yeah, I'm going to have to well, say your yes. Boss yeah, is, yeah, you yeah, want to yeah, 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 yeah. Nitin, Nitin, yeah. So um, we met with Nitin, we spoke about the drink and uh, we found it to be really fascinating and I promised him that I would come and see it here. And uh, this is what it is. So minus the three flagship drinks that they are making, which is the traditional meat, the apple cider and the coffee meat, they are doing so much more. So we taste it from, uh, from the end of cucumber to mango to earl grey uh, to even kokum, uh, guava. We also went into coffee, chocolate and something which tastes like a little boozy but caramelized smoked bacon which was so good and a birdie told me that it's not just this they also had more stuff to give to us but probably they didn't like us that much no so, we do we do but uh, yeah basically it's our meat lab series we essentially uh, want to highlight super local and seasonal produce uh, when we're making our experimental meats uh, some of them that uh, they didn't try today are the hop meat the chocolate orange meat, the bourbon milk uh, apple meat, the hydrogen driven cafe lime meat, the ruibus pineapple. So basically, you name, <laughs> you name an ingredient and these guys are experimenting with it, which also tells us that A, meat is not just a serious drink, it's a very experiential, subjective, maybe seasonal drink as well. Yeah? Yes, yes. And also, um, uh, you know, there's just so much scope that can happen with meat, and uh, which in itself is just so exciting and promising. Uh, just to tell you how a meat tastes like, we're just going to taste the traditional meat because that's what the original expression is. So, okay, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Thanks cheers. a lot for having us here on a Sunday. Thank you for coming down. Mm. Cheers, man. So, from the look of it, it looks like, uh, it doesn't look like a beer, but it's not as heavily carbonated as a beer. But uh, do know that Champagne East has gone into it, so it's not, it's not just another product on the shelf, it's a serious one. There's a, there are very fine bubbles. It looks a little straw, lemon, a uh, little tinge of green in it as well. But yeah, let's just go ahead and smell it and taste it. Yep. Uh, so, we basically make this using a blend of three honeys. Uh, a multi flower honey from Uttarakhand, an Ajwain honey from Milan around Maharashtra, and an orange blossom honey that wow. comes from Nagpur. And yeah, on that note, I, uh, I must mention we tasted eight different types of honeys before we went on to the meat. And I think I would just travel just for that. It was such a fascinating experience. I am allergic to honey and I tasted all eight of them and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a few bottles if they don't sell it to me and take them back home. Um, but yeah, just such a clean product, very light. It's You might think of it that it is made from honey and it might be super rich and super uh, sweet. sweet, but it is completely dry. It is very, very refreshing. The acidity, I don't know where it comes from, but it's just so... Uh, so endearing, uh, light beverage. It's got a little bit of um, you know citrus flavor, an apple bite, uh, some uh, fruitiness to it as well, and uh, it's just it's effortless to drink this. Exactly, because like the first time I tried meats, I had about five in an hour, but it was also the day I got hired. So I mean, or so you were celebrating, yeah, <laughs> creating sales for the company from day one. Right? Yeah. <laughs> And we are not tasting this at um, uh, chill, we are tasting this at room temperature, which is how meat can also be drunk. Uh, of course, you can try it uh, chill. I mean, I don't mind having it on the rocks as well, but I know that's not how you would suggest it to be. Yep. But uh, overall, this is just a drink that you can add to your repertoire. We guys are doing it in India. We gifted this drink to the world and there is always and always a huge respect that we will hold for meat and from this beverage to uh, draw some eyeballs to the country. So great job, man. Cheers. Thank you. And uh, also a big cheers to Nitin, a big cheers to Rohan and the team here. Uh, Sunit, uh, Gautam, you guys are doing a fantastic job. If you want to learn about me, you can also do that, the IWBS beer courses that we do. So cheers, guys.